Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Marriage Matters. If you're watching us for the very first time, my name is Glenn Coleman, and I'm joined, as always, by my beautiful, lovely, adoring, sexy, voluptuous wife. Okay. Hi, I'm Tanya Coleman. <laughs> With the red lipstick on. You see it. Yes. You, you like the red? It. I like the red. Good. Yeah, I'm going to have to put my lips on those lips a little bit later. <laughs> later it's on. It's another episode, though. Anyway. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Yeah. Good. So this is a marriage matters, right? Yes. And we talk about all things relationships. Uh, you know, our goal is to come on every week and give you some tips and tricks mm -hmm. that'll help you improve, grow. You know, it, it's I, I believe that you can never get to the point in your marriage or any relationship where you say, you know what? Boom, we've made it. You know, right. it could always get better. Uh, how, how does the saying go? Never, never stop until your good becomes... Your, your good becomes better, better and your better, and your better becomes, becomes great. great. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, yeah. keep the goal in life, or our goal in life is to always be growing, always be changing, always be evolving, getting better. Mm -hmm. um, and and I think that's that's Perfect. what the will, I think that's the will of God for our life. You know, Absolutely. we should if, if you if you are thinking the same as you did. And I mean, I know there's some core beliefs that always stick with us, but I'm saying if, if you are, the Bible says, when I was a child, I thought as a child, I spake as a child. But when I became a man, I put away child's sure. things. That's called growth. Yeah. So that's my point is if you're still doing the same things, you know, nothing fresh, well, grow. Let me just say that. <laughs> I don't want to get into all that. Anyway, so this week, mm -hmm. um, I'm really excited about this week's episode because um, I think this week's episode is really going to help take your relationships to the next level mm -hmm. um, because, you know, we deal with quite a few couples and we, you know, whether you call coaching, counseling or sometimes just having a conversation and mm -hmm. talking with and every couple that we've ever worked with has always had one thing in common. When you ask them, what do you want to work on? Every one of them says communication. They always say communication. Yeah. We need to work it's on our communication. Yeah, we need to work on our communication with other things, but communication is always the common thread. That's that, that's where most couples start, that, and then once go you through. dig, yeah. that's when you get to yeah. the other things. So this week, I, I want to name this episode "What I Need from You Is Understanding." Mm -hmm. So we're talking about communication, but you know, I'm a you know, according to the gospel of escape, you know, what I need <laughs> from you is understanding. No. <laughs> Not enjoying it this time. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what I need from you to understand, and and one thing about communication, I think, mm -hmm. is well, when it boils down to it, the the greatest hindrance to communication mm -hmm. is the fact that most of us, me included, I we we're never taught how to communicate. Sure. Yeah. We, we don't really the know the process of communication, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so um, the reason why, and I guess, you know, I'm giving you the the, 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 be, the end at the beginning, but the reason why I named this episode, what I need from you to understanding it is because that's the end result of communication or right. should be. Right. And communication should not cease until there's understanding, there's understanding yeah. on both sides of it. Right. Right. And I think, well, a, a lot of times when people say communication, what they think is talking. Sure. When, yeah. when, um, you know, you say, when you say, I want to, I want to communicate better or, mm -hmm. or, you know, we don't talk enough. That's, mm -hmm. that's what, that's what they're talking about. Or they think when you say communicating is about getting your thoughts out of your head and out of your mouth in, in, in words, mm -hmm. but that's not necessarily communication. Right. That's speaking, mm -hmm. but that's not communication because right. again, communication um, has the connotation, can I use that word? Mm -hmm. Connotation that comes with it that after I have communicated that the other person can now act and accord it accordingly mm -hmm. to what I've just communicated. Right. So yeah. communication is not just talking and using hand gestures, right? Mm -hmm. Communication is so much more and that's what I want to talk about today. That's good. That's good. Yep. I love it. Um, 
just kind of thinking as you were speaking about the process of communication and that our goal in communication is to ensure that we have not just been heard, but we've been understood. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes we miss that because we it takes longer. Yeah. To to ensure that Absolutely. what you are saying is not just being heard, but it's being understood. Yeah. And, and I heard someone say this and I said, wow, that's that's true. It's like, you know, when it comes to like, you know, with kids, mm-hmm. you know, the way we try and, and, and believe me, I, I've, I fail a lot, you know, to, to communicate to our kids in a certain way. Mm-hmm. But I heard someone was talking about it's like, you know, our parents didn't have time. They they were trying to survive. Right. So they didn't have time to communicate. They were just like, do what I say. Shut up or I'm going to beat you, you know, <laughs> and, and because they didn't have because because communication does. It, it takes the extra effort. It, mm-hmm. It's it's. It's it's making sure that you're speaking in a way. Well, let me just stick to my notes so that way we're not here all day. Mm-hmm. So I said this already, but uh, um, um, so most people have never really seen or understand what communication is. So, like I said, growing up, I don't think I really saw communication, and we've talked about this before. Um, how um, I grew up in an environment where we didn't talk a lot about issues. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We we did more of the sweep under the rug approach. Mm-hmm. And I think you said that you grew up in where um, it was talked about. Um, it wasn't really talked about. It was dealt with in an aggressive way. In aggressive. So yeah. a lot of. Um, Fussing and fighting and yeah. yelling and yeah. all of that. Yeah. So both of those are two extremes. Right. You know, in the end of the spectrum. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, you know, when we think about, you know, communication, again, we think our, it's our job is to voice our thoughts. But that's not what being a good communicator is. Mm-hmm. Um, as a communicator, I must also take on the job mm-hmm. to ensure that when I am communicating, mm-hmm. the person is understanding. Yes. So what that means is I have to know the first thing about being a great communicator is you have to know how to best communicate to the person that you're communicating mm-hmm. to. Sure. And on the receiving side, you have to know how to best listen. Yeah. So yeah. that part it um, means that I have to ask questions. I have to um, confirm that mm-hmm. I've heard, actually heard what I think I heard. Mm-hmm. You know, so oftentimes we'll do things such as you will, you know, say something to me, and I will say to you what I think, what I hear you're saying is, mm-hmm. or what I think you're saying is this. Mm-hmm. And so I'm asking in a in the form of a question. Um, to get clarity that you are actually saying what I am hearing, mm-hmm. you know, and give you an opportunity to respond back. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, in, in, in that what you're saying, so the end result again is understanding. Mm-hmm. So, as the commu- as the person doing the communicating, mm-hmm. my goal is not just to. A lot of times, we just want to get it off of our chest. Right. We, we want to just, you know, and I, it I say, <laughs> you know, you take the I said what I said approach, mm-hmm. you know. But I have to, as part of uh, being a good communicator, I have to take on the responsibility to ensure that the people that I'm talking to Mm -hmm. understand. And so, you know, I always I like, you know, using Jesus as the example. I love how Mm -hmm. what Jesus would teach. He would say the kingdom of God is like. And the people would be like, huh? Mm -hmm. He's like, well, the kingdom of God is like this. And they'd be like, huh? Mm-hmm. And he'd be like, a man went into a field to sow. And right. they'd be like, oh, right, right, okay. Right. So again, he didn't stop until the people understood, understood what he was saying. And it depended upon the audience it that he was speaking to. It depended on the audience to. that so he was speaking to. if he's speaking to a group of farmers, they understand what it means to go into the field and sow. Right, right. If he's speaking to fishermen, then he knows, then they understand what it means to cast your net. Right. Yeah, so it definitely depends on you have to know how to communicate 
with the person that you are communicating yeah. with. Yeah, and yeah. Um, now that's another example, but I, I'm not gonna go with it. I think we've, we've mm-hmm. got that point across. Mm-hmm. But as the person that, that is receiving, mm-hmm. it is also, we have to participate also in that a lot of times, especially when it comes to um, a lot of times having these discussions with your spouse mm-hmm. is what we do is instead of when we're receiving communication and our mm-hmm. spouse is trying to get these points across to us or whoever the person is you're communicating mm-hmm. with, we spend our time thinking about the rebuttal that we need to respond back to. Right. We were focused on really if you're in a heated discussion or argument, you're focused on how can I prove them wrong? Yeah, or how can I defend my or how can I defend myself? Myself. Yeah. Rather than let me really hear what they're trying to say, which mm-hmm. goes back to the asking of the questions mm-hmm. um, that we talked about a moment ago to make it making sure that you clearly understand what they're saying. We're not saying that you have to agree with what they're saying. Good point. We are saying that you need to understand what it is that they are saying. And they are the only person that can clarify to you what it is that they're trying to communicate. Mm-hmm. And you know, one of the things that that really makes great for great communication in relationships is when you really know each other and yeah. get to, to, to understand each other. So, you know, there's certain things like we were having a, um, a disc- family discussion uh, the other night about a topic. It was, it was a pretty uh, intense topic. I'm not right, going to say what it was. Right now. Um, yeah. But, and Tanya had a very um, strong mm-hmm. opinion about this topic. But I know her background. Mm-hmm. I know some things that she experienced as a kid. And so when she responded that way, I, I, I want to make, are you okay? But I didn't I didn't have I didn't get upset if she was getting emotional mm-hmm. because I understand why. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the piece that a lot of times we miss in communication mm-hmm. is when someone is communicating to us and they're trying to what I, I always like to say. Um, I, I, I say this a lot, but mm-hmm. speaking your truth, right. allowing people to speak their truth. Mm-hmm. The fact of the matter is that's their truth. Right. right. You know, that's the way they feel. And a lot of times what we try to do automatically when someone is trying to communicate to us is we we try to tell them why they should not feel that way. Right. Or that's not what I mean. I don't understand why you feel that way. Right. Well, you're you're missing a big step in Mm -hmm. communication. Mm -hmm. The first thing you have to do is acknowledge that they feel that way. Right. And give them permission. That's I think that's a big Mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. Give them permission to feel that way. Right. Because that's the way they feel, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So you have to give them permission to feel that way and understand, oh, okay, because I know you and I, I know what you've been through and I know some things you've experienced, I understand why you 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 you, you think that way. You know, here's, you know, a lot of people don't understand, you know, a great example of this is this whole thing about, you know, the police brutality and, and why the, the, you know, the protesting and all this, but until you've been pulled over Mm-hmm. by the police for no other apparent reason than mm-hmm. the color of your skin and maybe you're in a nice car, then you don't, you can't say, you know, you got what I'm saying? You, you can't, you can't automatically say, you know, to this person, why don't you just comply? Well, you, you got to understand the history. You got to understand mm-hmm. the story. Mm-hmm. And, you, and, and, uh, I think it's, it's Stephen Covey, right? Is it, is it the seven habits? Seek first to understand. Seek first to understand, then to be understood. Yes. I can't remember which. So it it's, is it's a Stephen, it is, it's it is Stephen the, Covey uh, book. Seven Habits. But that's the thing I think that we're missing people. a lot of times in communication mm-hmm. is the, the I want to understand what you're saying. And so like Tanya said, that may look like, so what I think I hear you saying is this. And look, guys, I know that's easy to do mm-hmm. right now when we're having this conversation. But communication is just like anything else. It takes practice. Absolutely. It takes practice to slow down mm-hmm. and really hear what your spouse is trying to communicate to you, what it is that they're trying to say, um, putting a pin in your emotions for a moment so that you can really hear them um, and not necessarily react Mm -hmm. to what, what it is that they're saying, but really hear them and then respond. Yeah. You know, there's a difference between reacting and responding to something. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, one thing that I do, and again, 
I'm not perfect by no means at this. I'm mm-hmm. just now really learning how to do this. Um, and it's really changing my perspective on a lot of things, but just really, and, and maybe you could do this. One of the things that I started doing is practicing not responding. Mm-hmm. When I'm talking or when someone is talking to me, just not responding mm-hmm. and just, I'm not ignoring, right. I'm, I'm just, I'm just really processing mm-hmm. what they're saying, mm-hmm. you know, and listening mm-hmm. and not automatically just freaking out. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we that, the discussion we were having the other night, I was talking about earlier and my youngest was talking and she was talking and talking. I'm like, and I'm just sitting there just like, mm-hmm. wow, mm-hmm. you know, just really hearing her. And she was, she may have been saying some things that, I may, when I was her age, or maybe even at this time, maybe not agree with, Mm -hmm. but I was just listening and hearing it from her side and hearing her perspective and understanding Mm -hmm. why she thought that way. Mm -hmm. Now, even if, let's just say the thing that they're thinking is based on facts is totally off. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm telling you, you're never going to be able to just, until you allow them to express the why they feel that way, you're never going to be able to convince them otherwise. Right. Because they're not going to hear you. Because they're not going to hear you because you didn't hear them. Right. Right. So seek first to understand. Uh, My whole, remember, at the end of the day, the whole point of communication is understanding. Yeah, Absolutely. The, the whole point is not because if I get it off my chest mm-hmm. and, and I've given you a piece of my mind mm-hmm. and I said what I said and nothing changes, what's the point? Right. We're going to be right back at the same We're spot about right the, back same at the same issue exactly. again. Exactly. Yeah. So if you want to move forward and, and, and get, you know, it's like you're having these, you've been having these same arguments for 15 years. Mm-hmm. Come on, fam. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's, it's time to move past that. And the reason yeah. why I guarantee you the reason why you're having the same, if you're finding yourself in your relationships, having the same arguments, having the same disagreements, mm-hmm. it's because you're not, you're not communicating. You're just talking. You're right. talking at each other right. and each of you are, you're, you're not speaking mm-hmm. with the intent of get, getting them to understand. And the person that's being communicated to, you're not seeking to understand. You're busy trying to defend your rightness or mm-hmm. why the other person was wrong or why I didn't go down that way mm-hmm. or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, so the, remember in your communication at the end of the day, the, the goal is understanding. Because once we understand, mm-hmm. then we can move forward. Absolutely. Right? We have to decide what is most important. Is being right most important or is it having a healthy relationship, having a healthy marriage, the most important thing? Mm-hmm. Sometimes we fight to just be right. Um, and oftentimes that leads us nowhere. Everyone's still frustrated and there is no clarity. There is no understanding between us. We have to choose what's most important. Mm-hmm. Is it me being right or is it our marriage being healthy? Yeah. And, I, and I get it because, you know, it's a built in thing that flight or fight is Fight or flight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right. So I get it. It's human nature to want to defend yourself. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, that's human nature. And and you want to, you know, speak up and say, this is why, Mm -hmm. you know, this is why I did that, you know, and, you know, there's a, um, this book, uh, and we, we talk about this book a lot. It's, uh, for men, for men only, for women only, by Shanti and um, oh, I forgot his name. Is it Dave? No, it's not Dave. I forgot the husband's name. The fell of the hands. Yeah. So I'll just say that. <laughs> yeah, because you said it and it. Woo. Yeah. But there, there's a story in one of the books. I can't remember which one it is, but it's um, the wife. The husband is he um, he used a dish towel to like clean his shoes or something. Mm. And the wife, you know, of course, went off on the husband. I felt it. You know, <laughs> but, you know, he and, and it was so great because I think I think it was them two. Mm-hmm. Those two, Shanti and oh, Jeff? I can't remember his name. I think it is Jeff. Mm-hmm. But anyway, he said, you know, she, she, she waited and understood. OK, I understand why she's upset. Mm-hmm. And he, I, I hear you. And, OK, OK. Then he, then he said, 
let me explain to you why. Mm -hmm. He said, I saw the dish towel mm -hmm. and it was very battered and torn and tattered. And he was like, you know what? This would make a great rag for me like to wash the car, or whatever, mm -hmm. whatever. I'm going to go and get some new mm -hmm. dish, towel. dish towels. Mm -hmm. You know, but my point was, my point is, he didn't feel the need to just, to, you know, that could have went a whole nother way. Right. But instead of defending himself, he let her and he understood it from her perspective. Mm -hmm. OK, I understand why you tripping. This is her dish towel. OK, I understand. And that may not be the greatest example, but I'm just trying to That's get a you good to see. Example, babe. OK, thank you. <laughs> but he he. <laughs> He, he, he let her and I, I understand. So in other words, he didn't automatically go to defending. What he did was understood why she feels that way. Mm -hmm. I understand. And that gave her let her, you know. I'm sorry. I have something in my eye. Get it out. I'm trying. You want me to blow on it? You want me to blow on your eye? Yeah. Such a gentle blow. <laughs> Thank you. I just put some breath bits in. So my breath smells <laughs> good, huh? <laughs> Anyway, yes, it's fine. Your breath is fine. So that that situation could have went, uh, you know, mm -hmm. even though she probably didn't, she probably could have addressed him with more seeking to be understood, right? Mm -hmm. To to uh, or she to, had a reaction, right? But I'm saying she probably should have, in in the model that we're talking about, mm -hmm. she probably could have said been more, um, not just getting it off her chest and more. Honey, that's a dish towel. Mm -hmm. Explaining her why, but mm -hmm. you know, I understand it was a knee jerk reaction. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have those. Mm -hmm. But it, it, as, if somebody has to take the lead in this and say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to seek first to understand. I'm going to listen to, and I say this all the time. I, I, I say it's not about, sometimes it's not about how they say, it's what they say. Right. You know, and, even though how they saying it may not be the way you want to hear it, mm -hmm. but it's what they're saying. They're true. And, and if they're saying it, it, obviously it's their truth. Right. So allowing them to speak their truth and then trying to understand the seeing it from their perspective, mm -hmm. you know, and then, then you can, and sometimes it's just that it's just, sometimes there's nothing else to say. It, right. It's just, I understand that. And I, I understand why, mm -hmm. you know, you, you perceived it that way. I want you to know that that wasn't my intention. Right. But if if you proceeded that way, then if you need me to change that, mm -hmm. then then I'll I'll change. Or mm -hmm. I won't do that anymore. I won't say it like that anymore. I'll try my best mm -hmm. not to say it like that anymore. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It does. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And I think we that could when we learn to accept that and not have to have our spouse to see it or not see it, but agree with our stance or our, because a lot of times we want our spouse to agree with us. And we have to remember that we are two in, individuals coming together, becoming one. That's we have different perspectives, yep. you know? Um, and so I may not always agree with the way that you do something or with the decision that you make, but I can understand your why. Mm -hmm. And I can choose to accept that and not necessarily have to agree about yeah. it. Yeah. So uh, agreement and understanding are not the same thing. And remember, the, op the point of, uh, as I see it, <laughs> mm -hmm. this is Glenn Coleman talking, but the point of communication is not agreement. The point of communication is understanding. Yes, absolutely. And you're right. Sometimes we just won't agree. Mm -hmm. And we have to be okay with that. Exactly. We have to be exactly. okay with the fact that we're just not going to agree. Mm -hmm. You know, so maybe we will do an uh, episode on uh, on agreement. But just a couple of quick things that we've talked about this before. You know, sometimes when you can't agree on an area. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple of things you could do. You could do what we call the expert so mm -hmm. whoever has most experience in that area, right. if it's finances or if it's with the kids or then that person gets to make the decision. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one way you could do it. What's another way? I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, another way that you can come into agreement is basically um, 
deciding that, you know, okay, I, I just like I just said, I see, I see what you mean. You know, I can see, I can see it from your perspective. I'm not in agreement, but I will support you in your decision. Mm -hmm. And and the other one is is I would say just sometimes just deferring to the other person, right? And it's especially in things, you know. Sometimes you have to determine is this worth it? Mm -hmm. You know, is is this? Sometimes it's just like okay, this is not going That's, to yeah. This this is a I, I say this is a uh, a a preference and not a principle, right? right? So do but, I want to be right or do I want a healthy relationship? There you go. <laughs> so just remember that at the end at the end of the day, what we want is understanding, right? You know, we want to be able, and, I, and I'm telling you, when you begin to seek to understand mm -hmm. um, your spouse, the other person you're in this, this relationship, when you when you seek first to understand, I understand. I mean, I'm telling you, you ought to just try that. Just and like I said, practice not responding, mm -hmm. and just and and I said you're not responding to ignore, but you're you're not responding because I'm listening. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is silence, you know, we're, I don't know why we're so afraid of silence, mm -hmm. but it's just like sometimes just being silent mm -hmm. and hearing what the person is saying mm -hmm. can, can go so far and responding back with, I, I can understand why you feel that way mm -hmm. and leaving yeah. it at that. Yeah. And you will be surprised at how much that's going to, this is going to grow your relationship mm -hmm. is when you really begin to seek to understand each other. And not just to get stuff off, to communicate to understand, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not just to get stuff off your chest or not just to. And I mean, sometimes you got to do that, too. But if you want change, if you want growth, then you mm -hmm. have to communicate in a way to where um, the other person is going to understand it. So you have to know, you know, you have to know the person, right, that you're communicating to. Mm -hmm. um, you have to you, the, the conversation shouldn't stop until there's understanding. Right. And on the person on the other end has to want to understand. Right. They have to confirm that they that yeah. they understand. Make that your goal, understanding. Mm -hmm. So <sighs> anything else? Nope. You wanted to communicate anything else? Nope. I think we've communicated <laughs> quite a bit. All right. So yeah, just try that. Try to try when you're next time your spouse, you, you and your spouse are talking about something or Maybe you do have a disagreement or she just sharing or he's sharing something. Try not just, I'm just not going to respond. I'm going to listen. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to think about what to say next. If I don't have anything to say next, and you can say that, okay, well, I don't have anything to say. I've been, I, I'm really hearing what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And I understand why you feel that way. And that's it. Understand. Seek first to understand. What I need from you is understanding. As simple as one, two, three. Understanding is what I need. This is Glenn and Tanya Coleman <laughs> <laughs> reminding you that your, your marriage, marriage matters. matters. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys.